Wouldn't you just know it, I sit down to make a nice little screen recording video for my faithful lamb dog Ian's, and what happens? I run out of battery power and I gotta plug this SOB in. Anyway, but that's not what this video is about. This video is in a response to uh, Rod Doglet Tard's video last night about the the dollar can't stay strong because the stock market has to go up. And um, I made a couple of comments on his video, if you follow my Google Plus stream, leading to, you know, basically my view on how he, he must have theorized that the reason why the dollar is strong is because gasoline is cheap, which he says as much, you know, like oil is blah, 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 and he mentions WTI crude, mentions Brent crude, Brent crude, rather, a couple of little fancy buzzwords, and um, my comments were basically, I, I said to him point blank, I assume you believe the dollar is strong because gas is cheap, and <clears throat> I made mention that, well, you know, the price of gas isn't directly determined by uh, how strong the dollar is, and I went further on to say, before stopping by and making this comment, I went ahead and took a look at the exchange rate of the U.S. dollar, and, um, I mean, it's okay, but it's not, it's not like become some sort of mighty juggernaut making gas, uh, sub three dollars across the, uh, continental United States. Um, and I ended up getting a couple of other responses from a person talking about the petrodollar, and it, it's not really what I'm talking about here. Uh, what I am talking about is, and I hate to admit it, but my father-in-law this last weekend was visiting while I was out in the woods hunting, and in pure Jim, Reverend Jim fashion, he, he loves to ask me questions that he knows the answer to, such as, Hey, Ron, do you know why gas is so cheap right now? And I'm like, I don't know, because oil is low? Nope, that's not it. Uh, and so I get to guess again, right? And, you know, this this nearly 70-year-old man just staring at me like glitzy-eyed. And, um, and I said, well, because it is? He goes, nope, that's not it either. And I said, okay, I give up. He, he used to do the same thing when... Um, when I was in my, um, you know, my, my studies to, in pursuit of, uh, you know, becoming, becoming a minister, but, um, that's neither here nor there. But the answer was because they want it to be that price. And I would love to discount what he says. I would, I would love to say, oh, oh, the man's off his rocker. Who are they? And, and what do they know and what sort of price do do they determine um, who they are? OPEC. OPEC. Um, the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries. Um, these people determine gas prices. I mean, nearly directly, and it's, and it's sudden. And you hear in the news about how the president asked them to increase production, decrease production, um, <clears throat> Futures end up uh, making a prediction as, as to uh, when Libya, when Libya went belly up, because OPEC was going to be short, however, millions of uh, gallons of, of uh, oil, the, the market anticipated it, and sentiment shifted, and, and all of a sudden the economy went around. So this is actually the real news why, um, why gasoline is cheap. Now, in, in response to the comment that I got replied, um, not from Snedmeister, but from another person whose name escapes me, I apologize if you're watching this, um, about it being the petrodollar, so people need, all of a sudden, need United States dollars so that they can buy gas, which I assume, um, you know, this, this person is theorizing that the dollar's strength has to do with its ability to purchase petroleum um, directly, and I believe I've talked about that in the past, about how how it is not exclusively the U.S. dollar being accepted by OPEC. Um, 
that's neither here nor there. Um, I believe, and this is my point of this video, uh, Raw Dog stating that the dollar isn't going to stay strong because a strong dollar will mean lower prices on the stock market. So they, in quotations, I'm making little quotations, they're not going to let the dollar stay strong. Um, that's, uh, that's, that's borderline uh, fear monger, Ambrosif, in my opinion. And, um, and I think, uh, I think you may want to go back to the drawing board a little bit. And, uh, yeah, that's my point. And, um, what do y'all think? I mean, I'm enjoying the gas prices. Luckily, I've got a, I've got a truck that allows me to load the boat <laughs> gasoline wise. Um, you know, I've got the, I've got the truck and it, I can buy a lot, but you, you, you know, when, you know, just like in, in trading. So I, I, I speculate on my gas. So I go ahead and put all, uh, all 24 gallons or whatever it is, 27 gallons worth in my truck thinking, oh, it couldn't possibly get cheaper than 294 only to see it at, at 280 something. <laughs> um, but, uh, now that doesn't really go for our car that we just got the, the Sonic, the, the Sonic rally sport with the, with the souped up lowered, blah, blah, blah. Um, cause it only has like a 10 gallon gas tank. We got to get gas in that like every other other day <laughs> um anyway reverend jim's point was they are making gas cheap to give people more disposable income that they'll spend on on whatever um uh, so and and he, he sort of calculated it you know if gas is one dollar less a gallon and people put uh 20 or 30 gallons a week in their truck or car that's uh 20 or 30 gallons per week times however many weeks in a month, times however many months it goes on, and what are people are going to do with that extra money? They're going to spend it, and they're going to stimulate the economy. It was, a, it was an interesting theory, and a theory that I believe held a little bit more water than raw doglets. So in closing, um, thank you for taking today's Daily Dose, and um, we'll catch you all some more on the next one. If I can back out of this screen. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious me. Y'all take